Okay, I'm about to do another Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2013 Plus tutorial, and this addresses a question that was posted in the comments on YouTube by Nature at its Best 12. And she wants to know how to make a 4x3 video into a 16x9 video using the new Magic's Movie Edit Pro because she had the older versions and the newer version is kind of uh, throwing her off and she needs a little help. So here it goes. We're going to bring up Magic's Movie Edit Pro and try to do that now. Okay, so I've launched Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2013 Plus and now I'm going to make sure that the active movie resolution is a 16 by 9. The first thing you do is go into File on the menu and go to settings go to movie and make sure that you got 16 by 9 the number of tracks should default to 32 and the audio sample rate 48,000 is fine now go down here and pick if you're in the United States anyway you want to use NTSC so just go down and pick a 16 by 9 format. I'm going to pick uh, 720p. And I got that set in. And I'm going to click OK. So I got 720p and seven in 16 by 9. All right. So now that's the active movie resolution. Now let's bring in the movie. So I'm going to go over here and drag in my 4 by 3 movie into my 16 by 9 resolution. Now it says the active movie resolution is 1280 by 720 which is 16 by 9 and that's what we set. But our movie has a resolution of 640 by 480 which is 4 by 3 so the movie I'm trying to import has a different resolution so I'm going to say don't adjust. I don't want to adjust the movie. I want to leave it just like it is. So don't adjust. Now I brought it in. Now if you look at the movie you'll see the 4x3 format is now placed into the resolution which is 720p 16x9. Now what we want to do is simply crop this video to be 16x9. So what we'll do is go up to effects, the effects tab right here go down to movement effects pick camera zoom and here's all the stuff for camera zoom right here but all we're going to do is use this marquee which is in the video monitor just take this marquee which is already 16 by 9 and just make it fit your movie now when you play the movie you'll see it's 16 by 9 with no borders Now maybe the subjects are a little far away and you'd like to be a little closer. You can use this same effect, camera zoom, to also zoom in by just changing the marquee. Pick the part you want. Now when you play it, you'll see you're in closer. But do remember, the more you zoom in, the less definition you're getting. It won't be as crisp. But there's usually a compromise and I figured this was a good compromise. So now that you've got that done, all you got to do is export it. So you can go to File Export, File, come down to Export Movie. I think I'm going to use uh, MPEG, that's my favorite one. You can use whatever you want. The important thing is once you get in to the export window, make sure you're exporting it as a 16 by 9 and you can see right here that that's what I've got picked I've got the 720p resolution 1280 by 720 and the frame rate is 29.97 and it's 16 by 9 and it's also standard 2D that's important you want to have standard 2D we're not doing a 3D movie so that's basically all you need to do 
In this export selected range, I usually leave on because I've got my range markers here and over here at the beginning and end of the movie. But if you wanted to just get a section, you can move those markers and pick up the section. But I'm just going to leave that on. You can take it off if you want. And that's it. Now you just click OK and export the movie. Make sure you know where it's going. Here's the path. For me, it's just going on my P drive right here. So it'll be easy to find. And this is the title. If you want to change it, you can. Now click OK. And the movie will begin exporting. OK, the movie is done exporting now. And we should be able to take a look at it. So here it is. It's on my P drive right there. There is the title. And if we play it, I'm going to go ahead and hit the play button. But I assure you it is in 16 by 9. But that's it. We're all done. And I hope this is helpful. And if you have any more questions, just leave a comment under the movie. Thank you.